Hey guys, Brad M73 here. Welcome back to Construction Simulator. As always, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to pick up a copy of the game on Steam for PC, use my referral link down in the video description. You'll save a little bit of extra money. Um, and it helps, you know, support my channel. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Let's see, we have to speak to the Harbor Master. Greetings. I was ready to give up hope before your company accepted the job. I'm happy for any support, and especially to see new faces in the construction industry, because there's a lot to do in the harbor region. With severe storms, the large breakwater protects the harbor from the raging sea. The and raging the storm sea. Surge last fall, however, it gave way in a few places, and some of the moorings were also damaged. The municipality expects me to fix it ASAP. And uh, how can I do that without the right people, eh? That's why you've really come at the right time. The right so, time? repairing breakwaters and jetties. That will be your first tasks for now. Okay. Alright, so first... Wait, flatten area? What area? Oh, that area. Okay. Well, we'll need a bulldozer. What a bunch of bull. Oh. Oh, let's see. What bulldozers do we have? We've got the cat. And the libero. I want to use the liber. I like that one. This is definitely... It's like, we're in the United States. It's like, I definitely ordered in that Lee Bear. From Europe, because it was the best. And then... Turn on all of the lights. Actually, this, this, um, this bulldozer has really good, you know, views in, from inside the canopy. All right, so there's, basically, there's like a big hole right here. So all we have to do is just flatten it out. So we're going to push this down all the way. I'm going to go a little bit, I'm going to aim it a little bit to the left. And we're just going to go right in. Keep holding down on it. Lift up. Do the same thing over here. Look at that. We're already 67%. Hold down, hold down. There's 100%. And if you really want to stay... I don't think there's, yeah, there's not really enough dirt here. <laughs> and then it just, it like levels out on its own. All right. So now let's see, we've got rocks. Let's jump out and we'll send him back to storage. But now we're going to need the big mobile crane. Oh gosh. How much is it going to cost me to transport? Oh, it's actually cheaper to transport this thing down than it was the the bulldozer. So basically what we have to do here is literally just pick up four of these rocks and load them over to the left. Nope. Oh.
Pull in just a little bit. Oh no! That's exactly what I didn't want to do. So now we've got to excavate the area over there. So we're going to need to bring in um, the big dump truck and the uh, large excavator. And we'll make sure we block off the entrance to this parking lot. All right. All right. Large excavator. We'll ha just have this transported down as well. Fast travel. Okay, so probably right about there. Yeah, perfect. Maybe. All right, let's go get our big dump truck as well. Already got some dirt in there. Uh-oh. Shoot, you know what? I shouldn't have teleported the, uh, I shouldn't have teleported the, the bulldozer back so soon. All right. Well, anyway. My friend Nick's going to be really mad when he watches this episode because we did this in multiplayer the other day and I'm not, he like, did, he got the small excavator, not the real small one, but oh, I can't think of the name of the other one. And like every scoop was only like two or three percent. I'm like, yeah, you should have gotten the big cat excavator, bruh. This is probably going to be full, but... Hundred percent. So that's what, like five scoops? Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep all the dirt in here. Because we're going to need to use this dirt to backfill later. I could just use the small flatbed for this. 
All right, so we're at the uh, materials dealer. We're just going to pull up and scrape our truck against the side of the building, as one does. And we're going to enter. I'm going to hit the filter, and I think we needed two of those, one of those, auto load, and purchase. There we go. I'm also gonna always always orient your offloading site towards the um, you know the way the the direction that the crane folds out or the right side of the truck, and you'll save yourself a lot of time. See, now we have to fill the area with soil. So we'll reset. And we'll jump in the excavator here. And I really hope we can just use all the soil here and not have to go back and buy another load. All right, so let's see, where? Okay, so there's 18%. And honestly, that's about what that last scoop was. I don't remember specifically what it was, but I'd say it's pretty close to 18%. And then this guy, we don't get a, I don't think we get a target for. But we're actually overfilled on this, so. Okay, so we're at 73%, and I think if I go over and dump right at the edge here, we might be able to get all 100%. We'll see. Oh, we got 100%. Dude, we did it. That's awesome. You have advanced. Oh, gosh. I got another skill point. All right. 
What we got? One skill point. I want to do fitness. And I'm pretty sure I'm not going to need either one of these, so I can say store and store. All right, rebar mesh and a pallet of vapor retarder. I'm assuming that that's probably just like plastic. Wait. Purchase? Oh, wrong way. Boom. Whoop. All right, so on this part... <clears throat> now, in the real world, you'd probably use a concrete truck. But, <laughs> but this ain't the real... Or, well, you'd use a concrete mixer and then a concrete pump, not a concrete truck. Um, Wait, do I have... Yeah, I've got concrete in here. I might actually have enough for this job. Let's look and let's find out. So we're going to deploy our shoot. Go straight back. Get right up on the edge here. Can I zoom out anymore? There we go. That's better. third of it. Okay, we're just stick we're kicking it right up here. hoping that I'm going to have just enough concrete to finish this job.
Oh no, don't back up. So I don't know, do you think they would have a concrete pump for this job? They'd probably have one of those hose attachments. That's what they need to have in this game is like like the, the concrete hose that you spray the... Kind of looks like a fire hose, but it sprays concrete. Well, it doesn't really look la that much like a fire hose, I guess. There we go. Clear the construction site. Harbor Pier stage completed. Oh, excuse me. Can I go through here? I can. I think there's actually a, oh no, it's on that other pier. There's actually a hammer, like, right over there. If you see where my mouse cursor is, kind of upper left part of the screen, I think there's a a uh, hammer out there that you can actually go find. I don't know if I found them on this profile yet or not. So now we have to speak, whoa, we have to speak to the harbor or master. Thanks for pitching in. A storm surge like this isn't much fun if you're not well prepared. At least the big ships can safely dock again. Yeah. However, that will not be enough. There it's are never enough. considerations that would certainly not hurt the economics of the harbor. My intuition tells me that we landed exactly the right fish with your company. Oh, really? And as an experienced seafarer, fresh I've fish, fresh fish. Okay. I'm compared to a fish now. So there's our new harbor, harbor wall, I guess. So we're gonna run out here to the lighthouse. I'm gonna see if I've got this hammer yet. Uh, let's go into first person. Oh, there's like all, yeah, it's sort of like people already down here enjoying the harbor. There's a hammer right down here. Boy, this is like a long, it seems like a long way out here. I came out here before and I don't remember it being like this. Forty-four out of a hundred, and then there's another one. I think it's like right there, but I can't zoom into it. All right, so next. Our, okay, so there's that road job. Parking lot job. Container hotel. Uh oh. Is it is this the new next harbor job? Let's look and see. It is. Alright. Choo choo special delivery. We've got Dela D Delavery, Gravel Delivery. All right. Um, yeah, let's go and see if we can find that, that other hammer over here. Might as well while we're here.
There it is. This is like a really weird pier. Forty-five. All right. Let's fast travel over there so we can get that out of the way. Of course, it would. Hello, Harbor Master. Fewer young people are vacationing here during the season than they used to. At our local harbor bar, the Hobgoblin, I listened in on some of the talk. People actually prefer to travel to the neighboring towns because the hotels are cheaper. Cheaper? So thinking, it would definitely be worthwhile to establish an affordable hotel on this headland, which would be easy to operate and cheap to maintain. I managed to get hold of some of the discarded containers. The people from the steel trade are helping us build simple and stylish housing units out of them. So why don't you just grab these containers and take them to the steel trade? Wait, what? There should be one around the corner. You can hardly miss it. Good luck and see you later. So we have to take a... Okay, so there's one right over here. What? So they weren't really kidding. So we are going to need this large mobile crane, I think. Whoops. I think this is going to have enough reach to get all the way over there. But it might not, I don't know. Oh my gosh. No. We're like five feet short and I'm not even joking. Are we going to have to get the big truck with like the big large flatbed on it? It's like, no matter which way I turn, it's always to the left. What the heck is going on here? 
Uh. Okay, I've never seen that happen before. Let's just block the road. I'm I'm sick and tired of it. So are we supposed to be taking all of these cargo con cargo containers over and moving them over? Wait, we have to, yeah, we have to take them all the way. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're gonna have to get this big beast. We have to get this one. We have to go here. Let's just drive it. We don't get to drive these routes all that often, so let's just do it. Oh, I forgot about all the slow cars. <laughs> These are like the widest roads ever. Nothing to see here, folks. Nothing to see. Nothing to see. Move along. These aren't the droids you're looking for. Really, they're not the droids you're looking for. Whoa! <laughs> 
Safety driver, OSHA compliant. He's Brad M73. He's Brad M73. Driving across the bridge with builds. Okay, so if we go that way, oh, we'll just go straight and we'll be right there. Nice. Wide load coming through. Oh, hey, he hit, he hit me from the side. We're only going 52 miles an hour. Wow. Oh, we got to go this way. Are we almost there? Gosh. I want to be out of the range of that light post. There we go. Okay, so now we need, where do we need to go? I think we have to go th this place. Ah! <laughs> Oh my gosh. I did not mean to transport that guy. I meant to transport this guy. Oh, brother. So what are we supposed to do with this? Deliver large container. Oh, I see.
I don't know if this crane will be big enough. We'll find out. I would assume those containers don't really weigh that much. You know, because they would want to keep the shipping weight down, I would think. Perfect. All right, excavate foundation. Oh no. Wait, was I still in the truck? <laughs> yep. All right. We could drive it down there, but yeah, I think I'd be a little bit too cumbersome. <sighs> All right. Holy moly. Guacamole. I love how the track the imprints for the tracks look absolutely nothing like tracks. And I mean, they literally look nothing, nothing like tracks. All right. Um, no rename. Like, I can rename the truck the Fart Peddler. More stinky than your ex boyfriend. Louder than a locomotive. He's the Fart Pet. Okay. Brad, just stop. Stop. All right. Oh, no. So yeah, this is what I was talking about when it comes down to the um, using the front loader. I actually think the front loader is going to be more effective on this. Um, hmm, how would I want to do this? Because this is so shallow. Wait, do we have... Let's jump out of here, him first.
What do we have? We have this one? No, we have this one. I almost want to try this one. Let's rent this cat wheel loader. I'm going to see if I like it. And I've never tried this one before, so... Could be something new. I don't know if you like it, but I do. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm thinking he's gonna have to pull back some, or yeah, pull forward, not back. into the same issue where it won't it doesn't want to load up any higher oh my gosh Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe this was a bad idea.
we're at least we're at 20%, right? We're doing something, right? Yeah! I don't know what we're doing, but we're doing something. It's just like as soon as I get to where it's like starting to get full, it just dumps off again. Well, let's try our let's try our old the old, the other one. We'll see if we'll have any better luck with it. Definitely not driving this one all the way down there. We got a nice full scoop there. Okay, I'm already liking this one. <laughs> Honestly, I thought the cat would win, but I'm liking the case. Which I did not expect to be the case. Now can I drive up the side like I can with the cat? Yeah, see I think the cat is like four-wheel drive. This one seems like it's two-wheel drive.
we go. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna see if, uh... I'm just gonna return this one. I don't think I, I don't think I like the the cat. I thought I would, but I just don't. This is gonna take a long, long time. I don't even know. I don't even know what to do there. Uh, we've got to empty this. time we got left oh no yeah we're pretty much at an hour right now um well we got it one job done we've and then we'll, we'll come back and we'll do this next harbor job maybe finish it maybe i don't know There we go, we got a big old scoop there. Oh no. I'm almost wondering if like like taking a bulldozer. Actually before I go, let's try that really quick. Where is my bulldozer? Wait, is it in storage? Yeah, it's gotta be. Liber, there we go. 
farts. Take out. There. Enter. So what I'm going to try to do here is... Maybe push all this dirt into a big pile. That might be easier to pick up. I'm just kind of experimenting right now. Like, I'm not sure if this technique is really the right one. Oh gosh. I mean, if that's the case, if all I had to do was just use the bulldozer and make the dirt like disappear into infinity. Boy, do I feel like a big goof. I love how the dirt's just like disappearing into infinity. And yet this is obviously the best tool for this job. Well, heck, I might as well just stick around and get this done. At this rate, we went from what? 36 to 69 percent in just a few minutes not even eighty two um let's see let's uh sure Yeah, we'll just fast travel him back. We'll jump back in the dozer and we'll finish this off really quick. Due to thunk. Look at that. Three, like one more pass down through here should maybe get it. Okay, and then if we go hydraulic excavator, let's quick travel back. Perfect. Deliver and spread gravel. All right. Well, that is good. That, that was just totally unexpected. I did not think that um, the bulldozer was going to do it for that job. But, you know, I thought maybe I'll take the bulldozer, push the dirt into big piles, and we'd be get, you know, we would pick up the piles with the front loaders. 
dirt does not in this game does not work like it does in real life. I'm just going to make that loud and clear. But thank you for joining me for another episode of Construction Simulator. As always, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. I'm Bradham73, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.